Georgia. And today we're bringing to you a rotisserie restored gorgeous old duster. This was the high performance model for the year. You see the racing stripe down the side. It's also got the 340 cubic inch V8, the biggest motor they offered in 1970. Some other options on the car we'll talk about in a minute, but uh, this particular car was frame off, rotisserie restored. I've got it running because I love the sound of it. I'll give you a listen. That's one of the options this car had in 1970 was the dual exhaust. This has got true dual exhaust. I'm shooting the video inside because just too much sun and shadows outside. And I want you guys to really be able to see what you want to see here on the car. I want to show you how pin straight it is without the interference of, again, shadows and things. Take a look under the hood here. Again, it's got the 340 cubic inch four barrel set up, which again was the, uh, the high performance engine for the year. Got the stock exhaust manifolds as you can see down there. It's got drum brakes all the way around, but man, they work well. Let me let you hear it and then we'll talk more about the details. I'll rev it up a little bit for you guys. So we'll get back in the interior and show you some things, options and details in there in just a moment, but getting back to under the hood. Engine was pulled, this, you know, and, and rebuilt, but this particular motor is a factory replacement. Uh, numbers were double checked and uh, it looks like maybe they had some problems with the original motor and this was uh, a factory replacement, you know, a dealership replacement engine. Uh, that was recently rebuilt. Uh, the restoration, I think, took place last year. It was completed, and I have some pictures I'll show you in the trunk when we get around to it, but again, this thing was rotisserie restored. You can see the paint is flawless. Everything they used for the car, when, you know, parts that had to be replaced, they used the correct parts. You see the wiper motor there. Looks like that's the original uh, brake master cylinder. I was saying, you know, it does have drum brakes, but uh, man, they work pretty well. Not super hard, doesn't give you that brick hard pedal. Uh, the brakes work pretty well. Got the original radiator, I believe. But all the little details that you look at here, the trim, the core support, everything taped off and painted. You don't see any overspray. This is a high-end restoration. And for the Mopar guys out there, I'm going to give you a quick shot of this, although there will be a still shot of it on my website, but there's your fender tag that you guys all love to, to check out. Finish up in the engine compartment here. Everything, the pulleys, the water pump, everything is factory. And another one of the options that this car came with in 1970 was the power steering. You can see that pump down there. Need to clean that cap off, but... everything done to a very high standard on this rotisserie so you Mopar guys out there you especially the collectors this car will only gain in value because of its pristine condition look at that firewall I know a lot of guys throw around the term you know factory this factory that I think this one might be in better condition than it came from the factory to be honest with you Runs and drives like a dream. I tell you, it goes down the road really, really well. I mean, it's not a big block. You're not going to pull any wheelies, but it's certainly got some pep to it. It's got a nice, smooth, shifting, three-speed transmission. And the undercarriage is as clean as the top side. Again, there will be still shots of the undercarriage on my website, and I'll try to get down on the ground and show you guys in the video as well. That front end is unmistakable. 
the old duster. Dodge had the demon, and Plymouth had the duster. I'll tell you, one of the nice things, you know, it's even got the stock wheels if you look. So we've got the original style wheels. The nice thing, these, you know, we also sell wheels and tires here for the classics at Carcraft uh, Classics here. And, um, boy, you can fit a big old tire. It's almost like it's mini tub from the factory. Well, we can stuff if, if you know, you, you were interested and you wanted a wider wheel, we certainly can. We have the room for it in there. Speaking of the wheel wells, I mean, look at how great the condition is of this car. Even in the wheel wells, inner fender wells here. Forget about bubbles, forget about rust. There is nothing. During the restoration, this car was taken down to the metal and built back up from there. Any problems or issues were addressed then, cut out, etc. No waves in this, you know, it's not a Bondo bucket as they call it. Uh, it's pinned straight. Looks like it just rolled off the factory floor. Or like I said, maybe a little better. And the attention to detail is just, it's astounding. The bumpers, the trim, the molding, everything new and gorgeous. So if you're looking for a real time capsule, something that you know is gonna really look and feel and you know like the 70s, this is it. If you're a Mopar collector, believe me, this will not embarrass your your collection. Glass is all good, wipers work, dash is not cracked. I'll show you more on the inside, but uh, just in great, great, great condition. So again, that racing stripe, I think, was an option back in 1970. Let me give you a shot here. Side profile. Super, super cool little Mopar. So, all lights work, gauges work, everything's in working condition, but here's the book I was telling you about. It shows the entire process from beginning to end. The entire restoration process is documented in these pictures. And we have a whole pack of receipts and so on and so forth. But there was nothing on this car that wasn't touched. Uh, completely restored panel by panel. Here's a picture where they even restored the trim rings you know, for the wheels. Just unbelievable. All right, let me get this closed up and show you guys the trunk. Again, as I mentioned before, there is absolutely no rust. The undercarriage, actually, the frame and everything underneath is painted to match the car. And uh, the transmission, the uh, bottom of the motor, everything is in pristine condition. Can't have two or three hundred miles since restoration. See, so we got the correct little cardboard panel there and spare underneath. I took all that out of there um, when I did my still shots. So refer to the website to see more. Not going to pull it all out now while we're shooting the video, but uh, I did pull it out, like I said, for the picture so you could see the entire trunk pan and wheel wells. Everything's been professionally restored. Still got some factory uh, undercoating, uh, some sort of coating there on the inside of the quarters. Just in great shape. It's the underside of the trunk lid, all the hardware, all brand new. And in my opinion, the coolest option that this car has is that little rear spoiler. That is cool. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, guys. Just remember these cars buzzing up and down the road when I was young. It's only a dream to uh, to own one, but here's your opportunity, gentlemen. Give you a quick look underneath. Everything new: brakes, suspension, bushings, ball joints, tie rod ends. Everything new. Again, the frame painted to match. Floor pans pristine. Suspension, everything done. Hopefully you can see that and hear my comments over my snapping joints here. Sorry, the joys of getting older. 
So there she is, 1970. Plymouth Duster, 340, V8. Automatic three-speed transmission. Heavy-duty rear end. I mean, look at all the trim. Everything here is new or restored. Mirrors. Paint they did a fabulous job on. Went back with the stock, correct. Little badges. All right, so now the interior. Just like the outside, in excellent shape. Door panels, paint work in here. One of my pet peeves on these uh, restored cars is when they don't take apart the door hardware and they just paint over it. And you see, you know, body color paint on the inside. That drives me out of my mind. Anyway, they did not do that here. You can see everything was removed properly and painted piece by piece and then reassembled. There's the interior. Blue. And another cool option. I'll show you in a second, but uh, the back seat. Another cool option in here is the um, gauge cluster. Mm -hmm. we'll take a look at that. This gauge cluster with the tack in the center was an option that year, and how cool is that? All the gauges seem to be working. Dashboard's in excellent shape. Original stereo with the uh, dial adjustments. As you can see, this car does not have air. But uh, if you would like to have air, don't let that stop you from inquiring about the car because we can easily put air in there for you. So again, vinyl bench seat in this car with the little fold-down armrest. Odometer reads 89, 580. I have no documentation to say that's original, but I believe it to be. This car's been babied its whole life, you can tell. Wipers work, heater works, lights work, indicators on the dash work. There's another tag that the Mopar purists may be interested in. Here's your VIN tag. Okay, 